channel 7 time for seven first alert weather it's been a very showery sunday for us with some of those rain totals in treasure valley spots starting off a little bit on the lower end but center mountain spots have been seeing some of those higher rain totals today and you can see right now that those showers continue as moisture continues to stream in and we've also are also seeing some stronger downpours to the south of mountain home right now so we can expect some moisture to continue to increase in intensity in these overnight hours as this moisture continues to stream in from the south. So we do have tropical storm Hillary make landfall officially at the Baja California Peninsula and that is now moving into with lots of rainfall into Southern California and again moving a lot of that moisture back into the gem state. So there's a lot of alerts right now in place for Southern California. Just want to show you briefly what's going on. Lots of red flash flood warnings. You can see all of that in red here. Also still tropical storm warning. Some of those rainfall rates have been about an inch per hour. Now to our area. We do have a flood watch in place because of the moisture we are expecting and tomorrow things are also going to take a bit of a windy turn for us. We are also going to be tracking some possibility of higher winds. So for tomorrow afternoon, we could see gusts of up to 60 miles an hour in this area in gold. The areas in tan, we could see gusts of up to 35 miles an hour. Now, as we go into the evening hours, I mentioned expect that rain to increase. And as we go through, that moisture is going to move from the south towards the north. So Twin Falls will see those heavier rainfall rates first, and then that will move into the central mountains. So heavy mountain rainfall is expected in the overnight hours. We could see some flash flooding or maybe some debris piling up that will continue into the overnight hours. And then we'll be tracking an additional band of moisture that's going to be arriving tomorrow morning. So we could get some interaction with that in western sides of the state. However, I do think it's a little bit more likely we'll see that affect McCall, possibly Ontario, but we could see that briefly in Ontario, those higher rainfall rates. But I think McCall is going to see some of those higher rainfall totals from that particular band. So that band to the west is what we'll be watching as we go into tomorrow. And again, we've got that overnight higher rainfall rates expected for the mountain central mountain spot. So as we look at tomorrow, we're going to ramp up the risk for the wind because we've got some of those higher wind speeds expected and the risk for flooding continues to be high because it's just so much moisture that's moving into our area. So that's what we'll continue to be tracking. And again, I mentioned some of those areas to watch and you'll see a lot of that moisture falls over a short amount of time. So now this is already to Monday morning at 930. You're going to see some of these mountain totals jump up really quickly. And so 1130 on Monday, you could see it's going to continue to increase as we go into Thursday as well. And again, McCall could see some of those higher rainfall totals associated with this moisture and the storming pattern does continue through Tuesday. Tomorrow is going to be the showery and windy time frame for us, but this is not going to be an everywhere sees lots of rain event. There are going to be lots of valley spots that see some of those lower end totals, but for some areas, Doug, there will be some of those higher rainfall totals. We already saw that Sun Valley area it was yes. over an inch. Today, yeah, right? catch them 1.23 inches already. Wow, an inch mm -hmm, and a quarter. Today. So yeah, flash flooding is possible. Yes. And I know you'll keep us updated as well. <laughs> Sophia, thank you.